Hey guys, this is Ace Fishing, and welcome back to another video. So today, my plan is to show you some of the basic necessities for your tackle box and just basic fishing overall. So my first box, I have basically top water and some plastics. It's all a big mess, but I have a couple poppers, which are designed to go like that in the water and kind of put some motion with the mouths. We've got an, a walk the dog style bait. That one is more used to just kind of reel in slowly. That's why it's called walk the dog. These are stuck. Here's another little popper. That one's another. You pull it, you kind of jerk your rod. And then another walk the dog style bait. This is a prop bait. It's got propellers that spin in the water. I actually caught my personal best bass on this thing, so it works. But it's a pretty old lure. It's from the, like 50 years ago. So now we're coming up on my personal favorite lure. This is the Whopper Plopper. It's got a little thing that spins here. It makes really good noise, really good action. It really attracts fish. So it's my personal favorite overall. We'll get back to this on a different day. I'll tell you how to fish it, where to fish it, when to fish it. I've actually got, I love it so much. I've got four different styles of them. And the final popper is another one that I recently unboxed in my mystery tackle box unboxing video. So that's it for top water. And now we're moving on into, well, that's, we still got a little bit of top water. We got some frogs. I like to have a variety of different frogs, colors. I don't have any black ones yet. I'm planning on getting new Guggen black one. We got a bunch of different colors. Now these aren't, I'd say frogs are pretty necessary. These aren't my ideal bait. Not a big fan of fishing in the weeds and stuff, but they work. Can't argue with that. So I got little rubber crappies. They got some good action on them. I wouldn't say this is really necessary. Got some rubber minnows here too. I wouldn't say it's really necessary. They're okay. So that, that's my necessaries from this box. I'd say like maybe like a popper and a whopper plopper maybe, and a black or green frog. Moving on in the next box. I got some jigs. Got a big one and a little one. So you fish this one with a rubber craw and they, they're pretty good. I got some more jigs. These are more for walleye fishing. Got a, a huge amount of jigs and I'm hooked. All right. Then one of the more popular ones, if I can get them undone. This, I guess I can't get them undone. This is a black buzz bait. Those are really good. For top water, you just reel them in fast. That spins. Now, the thing about buzz bait is a lot of times fish just swipe at it. So you need to put a trailer hook on there. So I'd say if you've got a buzz bait, you want a trailer hook. You can often find them wherever you buy um, buzz baits. You can often find trailer hooks in the same section. Another important one is a spinner bait. This looks just like the buzz bait, except it's more of an in-water retrieval instead of Top water. These are pretty good for a variety of different fish. You can use them for bass fishing. You can really use them for a lot of different fish. Just pike maybe, musky. This one, I actually do have a musky fishing spinner, right? This one's for muskies. I don't know why it's just big, I guess. And I got a couple of these guys in here. These are pretty good for walleye and pike fishing. 
you can put a rubber on the end. Now, if you're gonna be doing some finesse fishing and you have nettle rigs, these mushroom head jigs are really common clutch here. Those are really good with the Ned rigs. Pretty good for smallmouth bass. Some hair jigs, I got a lot of those. If you buy just like a fishing kit from Walmart or something, they'll probably have them. And now my final box of necessaries. We got crankbaits, lots and lots of crankbaits. Just recently unboxed this one in the Guggen video. This one's a uh, three to seven feet, so kind of shallow. This one's more of a, kind of like this three to seven feet again. It's bright gold, really good in um, not cloudy conditions when the sun isn't reflecting as much. Then I got the eight to 12 feet Guggen one. That one's pretty good. I have a lot of these. Let's see if I can get one out for you guys. Maybe I can't. All right. Um, I'll show you. Hopefully, I've got a lot of these lipless swim baits. Those are really good too. They're not my favorite. I personally don't use much, but they catch big fish, so I wouldn't argue with them. I got a lot of different colors, as you can see. Now, I got a lot of different types of crankbaits. I got a little chain here. Got some trout fishing ones, some bass fishing ones, some large ones for walleye and pike. You can really use these. These crankbaits are good for a lot of different fish. And then, I've never actually used one, but I've heard a lot of good stuff about these. The Rapala X bait, X wrap, sorry. I've got two of them. Got the clown colored one, a bit bigger. Then I got the pink one, the bubblegum pink. So, looking forward to testing those out this summer and getting some fish on them. Now next we're coming up on spoons. I like to keep a selection of them. Since I live in the more northern area, I live in Wisconsin. It's a bit um, less cloudy water, less darker water. So I prefer to go for the more subtle colors like this one right here. Just a silver trout kind of pattern thing. I caught my very first pike on this lure. I actually caught two pike on this lure in a row. Then I got a couple less subtle colors in case I ever do need them. Got a couple daredevils. This one's really been bit a lot by cut pike. You can see the teeth marks chafing the paint. I got some MEP spinners. I've had a lot of follow-ups on these, never actually caught a fish on one. These are these I'm not personally a fan of. They get caught in the weeds a lot. They don't really work too good for me. But some people might have an easier time. Now the final thing that I say you need in your tackle box is some hooks. Finding good hooks is essential because eventually you're gonna need them. Whether you're making flies, you're going for panfish, and you're going just Fishing in general, catfish, bass, you're gonna need hooks. My personal favorite is the Chew Turn because it's got this little, right there you can see that little dent in the hook almost. That's there on purpose. It makes it so it swivels towards the direction of the bite and it actually helps you set the hook in the fish. These are really good. I get the panfish size because it's not just for panfish, you can use it on bass and stuff too, if they do happen to bite your hook. So these are really good, the panfish size, golden true turn hooks. Those are my personal favorite. But just in case I ever need them, I have a lot of different selections. Eagle Claw is my, one of my favorites. I have a lot of MTB hooks for my mystery tackle boxes, but yeah, that's basically what I have in my tackle box. Those are my necessaries if you guys wanna start fishing with lures. So now that we got the lures out of the way, 
that's over with if you guys are done, if that's all you wanted, but part of my channel, I just started this channel. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background knowledge on me. My name is Ben, I live in Wisconsin. I just started fishing two years ago. I started off on night crawlers and that kind of stuff, what most people start on. And I just love fishing so much that I started to learn more and go fishing more. And then this year I started catching some large remote bass, not very big ones. And I started doing more and more research on fishing in general and catching large remote bass. So now I'm catching more and more. I'm getting more and more lures. And then I just decided to start this YouTube channel and help you guys out a little bit with my knowledge that I've gained throughout watching a lot of different YouTube videos and researching in a lot of different books. So I hope you enjoy the channel. Leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys.